In this video, I'm going to share a few tips that you should know, things you should know before you start estimating using PlanSwift on-screen takeoff software. Now, the screen here shows that I obviously have PlanSwift open. Over here, I've already opened a job, and these are the blueprint pages I have in that job. In the center, you see the actual blueprint the a page that I've um, opened, clicked on over here and opened it. And over here on the right here, you see where I've already uploaded the assemblies and products from Red Rhino estimating software. You know, first I would be remiss if I didn't explain to you that PlanSwift has plenty of help. Okay, so if you go to the top of the page here and click, click on help, it opens up the PlanSwift online help window. Okay, and so you can drill down in this and get help in form of videos. Click on Plans with Videos here. Now again, just just play around with this and see how to, see what you need to learn here. But when I click on Plans with Videos, it opens up to different subcategories of videos that I can watch. There's Getting Started. So if I drill down into Getting Started here, it displays different videos. There we go. Starting a new project setting the page scale, etc. Now I cover some of these also for using Red Rhino estimating software. I just want you to know where this is at, okay? I'm gonna go back and click on the home tab now and this is again is the estimate. I want to show you some just some basic navigation tips here. Like for one thing, the blueprint shown here is too small to read. Okay? So you can zoom in you, up at the top you click on zoom in. Of course it zooms in here and you can zoom out. Okay, so you can use the controls on PlanSwift. Also, on my mouse, I have a roller wheel on my mouse that allows me to roll in and roll out, what I call it. So when I roll my mouse roller, I scroll in, or rather zoom in, and zoom back out with my mouse. Now the same with the pan feature. Pan means just to move the blueprints around. If you go to the top and click that, you'll see that it highlights that button, if you will. And then if you, you see the hand on the blueprints, you just left click to move the blueprints around. Okay, and then on my, I'm gonna uncheck that, or I'm gonna check that to unhighlight it. Now on my um, mouse, if I right click and hold it down, the hand appears, and I can move the plans around also. Okay, so you can e either use the on-screen controls or your mouse for some of these functions. Okay, the next thing that I wanted to share with you is, is before you start a project, you want to look over the plans really well. You want to do what I call get your mind around the job that you're going to bid. Look at different notes and read the notes. And and um, again, after you've input the plans in here, just go through them and kind of peruse the job. Take a few minutes to look it over and see what see what it is that you have to estimate. Okay, now here's another tip that I want to share with you. When you're estimating a lot of times on these projects, now just so you know, I'm recording this video right now on my laptop actually, but I have a 32 inch monitor that I usually do on-screen takeoff software, or rather on-screen takeoff with, with PlanSwift. So, so um, again, this is a, a smaller space that I'm used to working with, but even said, I need to be able to read these notes down here. So what you'll do is you'll find yourself that you'll scroll in or actually zoom in and then you have to move the screen down to be able to read these notes. I have a better way for you, okay, so if you'd like to do that. And here's what it is. You're, you, can actually, you can actually create a new document of these notes and print it out, okay? And what it is is I'm giving instructions on how to print general notes, keynotes, or lighting fixture schedules. Those are the kinds of things that you need to be able to um, maybe print out or at least copy separate. So let me just get to it here. Here's what you do. You click on the page tab at the top. Okay, and in the gray image tool, it might appear blue, you click crop as new page. Okay, so when I click on that, it digitizes and it lets me highlight. Now I click it, I left click at the top and just drag my mouse across here and highlight the area that I want to print out or to to, uh, uh, to create a separate document of. Now, when I let off, you'll see it opens it up and it lets it lets me uh, name it. Okay, it's an, I'm naming the new document that I'm creating here. Now, I'm going to name it E3.0. That's the 
blueprint page, isn't it here? And I'm going to name it Keynotes. Okay, and then when I click OK, you'll see that it actually creates this document separate down here. See how it shows Keynotes here? Okay, so now I can print this. I can actually print this out. Look, I can either refer to it here, or I can print it out, or I can do both. I like to print this out. I usually put these keynotes or fixture schedules up in front of me at my workstation, so I can read them, so I don't have to scroll back and forth to, read, to, to, to the bottom of the blueprints to read them. Okay, so um, the way to print this is, is you click the Home tab, And just click on the print, print icon. See the little printer here? Click on that. And it opens a screen. And it shows different options here. You click Print Current View. Okay? That's the view you have open. Then at the bottom here, you just click Print. Now, I won't do that right now. But that's how you do it. You, uh, you print out the documents. You just click Print. Now, I'm going to close this right now. Again, that's the way that you can create, or I should say, you can kind of blow up these details and notes, and you can estimate a lot faster. Hope that helps.